Hello, YouTube. This is evolution described with a finite state machine by a rule of logic. Uh, I think finite state machines are cool, and I think the theory of evolution is cool, so I wanted to see if I could jam them together. And I think it turned out pretty well. I've used Audacity to record my audio this time, so hopefully that obnoxious sound that plagued my video about Castle's wager is popping up again. But uh, anyway, here we go. A finite state machine, or FSM, or state machine, is a logical machine created from the work of Alan Turing. Finite state machines can easily be represented by directed graphs and are commonly used in computer science to determine how to code something. In order for a graph to be a finite state machine, it needs a starting position and an end state under which the finite state machine would stop running. A graph with no end states is not a finite state machine and is thus not logically possible. These are the symbols used to graphically represent the parts of a finite state machine. Uh, the circle with an N in it is a node. The arrow there in the middle is an edge. And to your right, you have a circle with a smaller circle and an N in it. That is an N node. Edges describe actions. Nodes contain states and are usually numbered. Their only real purpose is to give edges a place to form. End nodes stop the machine when they are reached. Below, I have constructed a simple finite state machine. Nodes which I are not end nodes yet have no edges coming from them are assumed to return to the start edge. You can see there you have the start edge. It goes to state one. Uh, there is option one or option two. Option two leads to state three, which is the end state, which would terminate the machine. Option one leads to state two, which would execute whatever goes on in that state, and then go back to the start edge. But there's no arrow pointing there, but I mean, you can just imagine it being there. Drawing it would just make the graph unnecessarily cluttered. This is a finite state machine representation of evolution. Because it has an end state, it is logically possible. You can see there, you have state zero, uh, which is the beginning, and presents the three choices. No environmental pressure, environmental pressure, or other. In the event of no environmental pressure, you simply go back to the start. In the event of other, you go back to the start. In the event of environmental pressure, you either go to pressure is too strong or pressure is not, or pressure is not too strong. Uh, pressure is too strong leads you to four, which is the end state. Pressure is not too strong just goes back to the start. The finite state machine models evolution has a logical end. When environmental pressure is too strong, the species in question goes extinct, thus ending the machine. Because evolution has a defined end, it is logically and mathematically possible. Even more interesting, it should be possible to write a program which can mimic evolution. An even more interesting thought is that it might be possible to write a program which would be largely random in construction, but could learn to solve a type of problem by following this sort of finite state machine. Uh, thank you for your time. I look forward to your comments, as always. Uh, we'll logic out.